Fight! Loser side top 16. Ooh, both of them 25 years old. This is a this is a similar age matchup over here. And uh, again, nephew at one point in time, you know, he uh he just basically And here we are on the final day of competitions at Capcom Cup X, folks. We're about to witness this incredible match. Who do you think will win this fight? Leave your support in the comments and let's check it out. The strongest in the West Coast. He, uh, at one point in time, Punk very briefly moved to the West Coast in yeah. Northern California. Him and Nephew were roommates, and you could see how that little uh, partnership, that training, helped Nephew a lot as well. He grew so much during that time. But again, Kawano, the only man that was able to stop Idom at Evo at the last year of Street Fighter V. Kuwano is ridiculous. The best of the new blood coming from Japan. And in Bolin, after not having the best performance at Street Fighter League Japan, when his team wasn't able to qualify in that second season, having Tachikawa by his side and being able to find the character that he needed to play, which is classic Luke, is what got him to this point. Nephew with a big lead, though. Oh, Catches the no. walk back yeah. with the crouching medium kick. Again, that's how you stop the shimmies right there. Yep. And so Kuwano's like, you're going to try to walk back. I've got a crouching medium kick. You better watch those ankles. And there we go, Kawano's gonna take round number one thanks to that one read. Breaking those toes like the end of those. Kawano routing it back with the quickness. This can happen, this matchup at any point. Explosive nature of Luke, better buttons lead to that. Nephew has to be able to stock up. Maintenance is key with Jury. Maintenance is required with this character. Drive gauge, the Fuha stock ups for things like this. Yeah. Pressure with the fireballs, the heavy kick shimmy and things yeah. like that. Yeah, lock him down. Oh, there Acon we go, style. auto correct. But again, if you're Kawano, at least you're out of the corner. But yeah, you're minus after blocking those drive rush overheads. That's a Beautiful. The, the sword normals right there. Jury's got one of them with that crouching medium punch. But you know what? I mean, what is a sword to a giant boulder from uh, Luke right there? <laughs> that crouching medium punch is terrifying. You can talking about a lot of butts from this character. To be <laughs> they get the pick up here with the light. Heavy. Has caught up in the corner. Waits for a little bit. Gets a throw right after. Calls out the parry. Wake up soon with the parry it out. Oh, yeah, no. let's wait. Bait Destiny. Check that bar at the bottom. And Back yeah, heavy kick you died. Starter. You died. That's it. That might be it right there. I nope. think that's game Will over. kill? It's huh? gonna kill. It's Wait, gonna kill. Wow. James. I'm not even gonna ask. I'm not even gonna ask. I don't even need my signature line. Because as soon as I looked up and I was like, oh, you're at like 60%, you're yeah, dead. You're dead. You're With dead. all that bar that he has at the top and the bottom, about to drop. <laughs> and using a back heavy Kickstarter, that's like the Chris Wong special that we've seen continuously. Yeah. Kawano utilizing the full effect. It's the first game. That combo was all heavy. It's heavy yeah, into heavy, heavy, into heavy, heavy, into heavy, into heavy, into heavy. There's no scaling on that at all. It really isn't. <laughs> that's the great thing about this character. You can start off with such, you know, those back heavy kicks. Such great conversion to leave him a lot of damage. The one with the first victory, we already taken Nephew to the corner. We've seen this move before. Nephew, please change the channel. Yeah. Do something different. But it's hard because the corner pressure, jabs, fireballs, hard to leave. As soon as I say that, Nephew does jump out. Yeah, he manages to get out of there. But Kawano, look at that, fighting out in the corner himself. Oh, space and trap. I talked about that, you know, instead of the sword normal, he's got the boulder normal. Got some crit red filled action right there, you know, <laughs> punching rocks, except his fist is the rock. It's the opposite. Rock strikes back. <laughs> Well, I can take this back. Nephew, though, only a good punish counter away. There's the play. Drive rush for a medium punch. Ooh, good throw escape from Nephew, actually. He was trying to bait something out. Kawano woke up with the throw. Perfect parry. He holds his ground. At that range, he probably wouldn't be able to drive rush up and do anything, so he's holding his ground a little bit. You see Kawano, he was walking backwards. Nephew walked exactly into the range of the crouching medium kick and he low block. But what a perfect carry by Nephew. He baits it out. OK, can he kill in this situation? He's going for the Feng Shui engine. He only had the level two here. So this is going to have to be a reset here. He goes for the same Instant jump. overhead. Instant overhead. He oh. should be able to kill after that. The fuzzy right there catches him with the fuzzy. You may be starting your crouch animation, but you're still tall in those first few frames, which is why you get hit by those fuzzy setups. So let's get the GP right after. Has some cover in the corner. What's your move, Quano? How are you going to leave this area? Fan fears, drive rush, the overhead. The back throw, though, calling it out. That is brutal right there for Nephew, but great for Quano. Quano now try to go for a little bit of a shimmy. There's that standing medium kick from uh, Jury. But Quano all ready for the anti air, keeping Nephew in the corner right now. Stan Pierce, Stan Pierce again, drive reversal. Burning himself out on his own terms. Yeah, and to get the no. level one. What? That's that, far whoa. enough. That's not projectile invincible, but I guess it either just faded out or he actually slid forward through it. 
One more hit. Trying to go for the fuzzy overhead yeah, again. Yeah, trying to go for it again. He's able to get it. Careful, all that bar Burned at the bottom. Out, but you know what? He's willing to block all these sandblasts. It's fine because he got all of his life. Hey, everyone. We're very close to reaching the goal of 1,000 subscribers on the channel. If you enjoyed this content, please consider subscribing to the channel and helping me reach this goal. I count on you. Luke. <laughs> right? Luke is usually one not scared of getting himself burned out. Right. Oh, checking oh. the drive up with your. Oh, no. Missed the flash knuckle. Missed the, the, the perfect timing on that charge up flash knuckle. Yeah. Drop rush. Oh, My yeah. kick sneaks it in. We see him throw. Gotcha. Medium punch. I like to switch up these options. Rotating the offense. He's got the two Fuha stocks right now. So he's going to be able to get activation into follow up here. Oh, he found a way to build up a third one and spent it right away. He spent them all right away. No Fuha stocks. And he's going to go right back in instead of building it up. He's going to build it up mid combo instead. The tech. If he has a couple of coins, does have a stock to utilize. Oh. But he spends it, it. He spends it. Oh. And what a DP. Too much from range. Guano. Now right he's got to find a way to build some Fuha stocks again. Find Sneaks One in there. Interrupt the drive, Raj. There he commits for the second time. More than enough to get wow. the damage done. Nephew, you see a little nod right there. He's starting to get into it. Dark Nephew is starting to appear. I see the clouds <laughs> in the skies. Dark Nephew, talk about that. That's dude when he has the confidence. He is hard to defeat. Exit. Turn to the dark side. <laughs> is that TFT? Oh. <laughs> Gosh, the kick opens up. Nephew caught him fast while it's landing. And now we get the heavy knuckle ender. Meaty fireball too as well to lock Nephew down. Now it's stuck impressive. a little bit in the corner. Can Nephew get himself out of this corner situation over here? Just does it with the uh, with the OD fireball. Perfect parry. Beautiful stuff here for the side of Quan in terms of defense. He's been the bar. No, he does not. No, Just not. yet. I like that it. for the shimmy. He has such a life lead. He's like, you know what? I can kill you without spending any of that super meter. I'm going to save it for the next round here. And that is such a good position now. But they're both sitting on three full bars. So the person who doesn't manage to land their super right now is going to be at a huge disadvantage. Quan was the type to use that bar at the bottom a lot more for like level one and two and things like that. If you so that variant if he needs oh, it. Nephew wow. says, I'll spin right now. I got my money on Friday. I'm spinning on Sunday. Yeah, but look at this. Kawano, he, he's doing this because Kawano was at two blocks. So now he's at basically only just a tiny block right now. for the trade yeah, right there to keep the bar. He just got hit. He had to. Burnout's worse. Oh, yeah, here we go. But nice parries. He built it. Oh. And now the DP. And now he has Nephew in the corner. This is such a big turnaround. Only DP against the throw. What a bet. But he died for that. Kawano still has his level three. Nephew does not. But Kawano burned out now. He's taking chip. Luke likes this. He doesn't mind He this. did it again. Oh, he, he gets that. Look again. at the distance. He's got to be standing at a distance for that super to hit. That's the second time. That's on purpose. He's at the right range, so it's not strange to see that super the second time to hit the fireball. He is doing that on purpose. Nephew with the punish. He's on game point against Kawano. That is some save that stuff for Nationals there because he, he's using the invulnerability to start up. The first frame is not projectile interval, but she moves forward enough that she gets right past that projectile. Unless it was going to miss, I'm not sure. I don't know what would happen if, if, if Nephew didn't press the button, but I'm pretty sure that was in range. Nephew might be sending Kawano to the stands like a fan. DP. Instant oh, overhead again with jump medium. Yeah, it's the, the ball outside the corner. The and the shimmy that Stan Fierce. The better buttons for this character. Level one for that corner push and kills some of the gauge. Yeah, again, that wake up jump medium punch is a counter throw. You're, debating, you're betting on the meaty throw to get that to hit. And now Burnout in this. Oh, oh the, the shimmy. shimmy! The Vanessa and Bless! Burnout, he's just, burning out. he's just burning him out so he can just chip him to death. There's the DP against the dodge kick, though. Kawano getting a lot more active. Yeah. In terms of like, the aerial approach. Defense. Stay the upset point. It's not over yet. Oh, the way into the throw. Was trying to bet Nephew was going to come out with something. He got the drive impact counter at the very last frame possible. Going to burn out Kawano. That's why he goes for the level one. So here we go. Goes for the overhead, but very plus now. Oh, no. The cross up. cross up, deleting that DP off the table. Yeah, did, Nephew didn't wait long enough to get the to, to get the auto correct. But, oh, oh, oh the impact. throw. I get sneaky, but here's the back throw. Yeah, that was drive rush light into the drive impact. And on block, throw there's that. enough of a gap there to throw it. And oh. the overhead again. You went burnout. Oh. One with all the bar to utilize. Oh, now you got to watch out for the drive impact. 
You've got a level one, but that's what's making him susceptible to these throws because he's thinking about that drive impact. Exactly. Counter it throw. Oh, he tried oh, to rear back, what? but caught him with a super nep with the interruption. You can't sway back far enough. Oh, what was just armored through that? Oh, he he get away. Up get away. Yeah, I think Nephew was so worried about the OD sandblast into the follow-up right, for yeah. the chip. And so he so was how? just like, I'm just getting out of here now. I, I can't block this. And so here we go, Kawano tying it up two to two. It's gonna two be the final two. game here. It's a best of one right now between Nephew and Kawano. And again, ODDP to stop the drive rush cancel is a plus for the person doing the ODDP. The other person spends three boxes, you spend two. So that's why it's such a good idea to do. Do you like the, oh, Bart. Do you like the fact that he just took away all that momentum? And even though you're burnout, this is fine. Meaty crossy, oh, medium punch, oh, light knuckle, grab him up in the corner. Time to, to call corner, bro. Another throw. There we go, Kawano on set point. Back from the brink of defeat. <laughs> this is why he's an Evo champion. This is why I've, I, I basically say he is the best of the new blood in Japan right now. You have to figure out what buttons are best for your character. Get up, drive oh, rush. He baited it. He oh, baited yeah, yeah. It. Hands are up. Parrying it out. Finds a punch back, heavy kick, started back, heavy kick again. And he wanted damage, so he's gonna one more go sequence. for the eraser? No, he just goes for the empty. And Nephew is out of the corner. This is big, but the crash meter button is gonna connect. He's gonna be able to finish it off. Just built the level three, but the eraser would have did it anyway. Where we going, people? To, to Memphis. Memphis! Wow, folks, that match was insane. What did you think of the outcome? Did the one you rooted for win the fight? Let me know in the comments and leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Cheers and see you in the next video. In, in, in a fighting game, you want to remember the storyline of a setup. Kawano set the storyline. Started from the bottom and I'll never look back. Look at all my haters, yeah, I'm making them mad. When it's all said and done, they gon' call me a legend.